Hey, what's up guys? Okay, have you ever been scrolling through Instagram and seen somebody wearing a cute outfit and wondered where they got it? Or have seen photos edited and arranged in a certain way that made you wonder what app they used to get that effect? Well, like both of those things have happened to me and I've reached out to lots of people asking like, where would you get that outfit? Or how'd you make it look like that? Only to be met with <laughs> like dead silence. It's like they've got some secret that they don't want to let you in on so they can be the only one wearing that shirt or the only one with that effect on their Instagram feed. Oh, it's maddening. Don't you just want to reach to the phone and be like, tell me your secret. Ah, well, that's kind of what I feel about the topic that we're going to discuss today to wrap up our mini negotiating series. I promised you in the last video four words that when strung together become some of the most persuasive in the English language. And I've kind of held back on you. It's like I don't want to tell you my secret because if I do, then some of you that I interact with are going to know when I'm using it on you. Oh, oh but okay, so I have to because it's going to, it's going to help your career. All right, so you ready? It's, it's gonna go by really fast, so if you're not paying attention now, you're gonna miss it. The four magic words are, would you be willing? Would you be willing? Now you have to finish the sentence and with, with what it is that you want them to do, but you can use it not just in your real estate practice, but like all areas of your life. So would you be willing to schedule an appointment? Would you be willing to sit down with me? Would you be willing to connect me with your friend who you think might be selling her house in the near future? Would you be willing to take out the trash, to clean the dishes, to vacuum, to scrub the toilet, to walk the dog, to whatever it is that you need another person to do? You can get them to do it more frequently if you use the magic words, would you be willing? Now. Why does this work? Well, it works because of a couple reasons here. Uh, first, people just generally in our society don't want to come off as rude or arrogant, and we certainly don't want to be viewed as unhelpful. Um, just I think as a society generally, we have this overabundance of concern of what other people think of us, and in this context, it kind of plays to our advantage, especially if, and here's the other part, you feel like we're going to be communicating frequently. Um, if I just see you one time and then you're going to walk off into the distance, that's one thing. But if you're in my life and I think I'm going to see you again, especially in the near future, and you make a request of me, then I'm highly unlikely to want to be seen as unhelpful. So if you say to me, Jason, would you be willing to, and then fill in a request, I know I'm going to see you tomorrow, I'm really likely to probably accommodate that request. And so like learning to say no and protect your time, um, that's a whole nother video topic that we can get into at some point in the future. But for the purposes of negotiating and becoming more persuasive, would you be willing are super powerful words. Now, because you instinctively and probably immediately understand what I mean when I say that that phrase is super persuasive, I'd like to stretch you a little bit and match it up with something else you can do to raise your game when it comes to negotiating. And that is to do as much of your negotiating as possible in person. Oh, Jason, wait, you mean like get in a car and like, like pollute the planet by using up gas and sit in traffic and go shake someone's hand? Ew, like you want me to do that? Yeah, because like I know we've got all this technology where you don't actually have to ever stand in front of another realtor to get a deal done. <laughs> but you know what? We had fax machines before all the technology that's around today. And so we didn't really have to either, but I found in my own practice that if I'm gonna use super persuasive words like, would you be willing, and I did it in person, that my effectiveness went through the roof. So what I'm suggesting is just because we have access to all this cool technology, it doesn't always mean that using it is in the best interest of our client. Now there are three numbers that should be permanently etched into your brain, seven, 48, and 55. You've probably heard these before, and what I'm referring to is the breakdown in which way in the ways in which we communicate. 7% of the way I can communicate with you and you can communicate with your world is the words that come out of your mouth. 48% of the way that we communicate is the tonality, the way in which we speak those words. And then 55% of our communication is with our body language. So that's what we're doing all with our body and everything that's going on with our face. And when you have body and voice and words all mixed together, you're accessing 100% of your ability to persuade another human being. So before you go, I have a question. 
would you be willing to try this out over the next couple days and then come back and whether it's on social media or on the blog, leave a comment and let me know how this phrase worked in your world. Professional or personal life, doesn't matter to me. I just wanna get a conversation going because we can have a lot of fun with this, can't we? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, my name is Jason Edwards. Thanks for watching and let's go think bigger this week.